Greetings, Saberites! Anonymous here. I am coming to you with a few pieces of gear that we get a lot of questions about. Um, and today we are going to demonstrate or test um, exactly what they can take. So we're going to be doing some destructive tests today. Um, up on the block we have some airsoft gear. This is uh, something that can be used to cover your face like this in conjunction with goggles. We've got a lot of people, I've had a lot of people asking me if this is good for sabering. Um, we've got the, uh, this kind of Master Chief looking thing, which is also very popular out there. Um, mesh, all that. Um, and we've got the very popular Templar uh, cosplay. Uh, mask right there. So, um, people are always looking for alternatives to fencing helmets and stuff, um, mostly because of the cost. Uh, these are very inexpensive. This was like seven bucks. This was 29 something or other. Uh, this was donated by, uh, by somebody um, uh, uh, very kindly for uh, destructive purposes. Um, but it runs about 50 to, to 80, depending on where you get them. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, and they look pretty neat. So people are, are interested in, in doing that. And a lot of people don't like the fencing helmets and stuff. Uh, the thing about the fencing helmets is they're rated for impact and, and force and all of that. The mesh on them is very, very robust. This mesh right here is very soft. I can move it with my hand. Um, in a fencing helmet, when I put it on, it sits off of my face and is instead padded out against my head and through the helmet and stuff like that so that none of the impact actually gets in, gets to any of my bones. Um, that is not the case with either of these three masks um, or any of these three masks. Um, this one, your nose sits right up against the, head, the, the, the tip of it. Here, your cheeks, forehead, my cheeks, my jaw, my forehead, um, and my nose, all pretty much right up against that mesh right there. Um, <clears throat> and as I said, it's not very robust. So um, we do not recommend these, um, but today we are going to go and put them through the ringer and uh, demonstrate why we don't really uh, use these to see exactly what they can take. So. Uh, saying that, let's go outside and uh, knock these around a little bit. Alright, we're back. After a couple of good wax, we have some results. As you could probably see, the face mask could easily be flattened with light strikes with a uh, 
with a mid-grade blade. One strike to the face of this guy right here with a mid-grade blade. Put this dent in there. Right, so that would significantly impact your face. Right, um, if I continued to beat on it, I'll bet you anything I could ball it up into a, just a tiny little ball of mesh. So there's that. Uh, the Templar one <coughs> fared a little better against the mid grades, but um, one shot with the heavy grade and it has busted through there. Um, also, this metal mesh is bent, poking out, probably would have gouged you in the eye. Um, all of this adhesive has, was flying out and around on the on the strikes so there you go <clears throat> okay um, we will uh, probably go ahead and uh, bring these up later to do some fun just all in out destructive demonstrations with these things um, so stay tuned for that um, <clears throat> so there you go are they good for dueling? No, not at all. Um, they will not take hardly any of the force uh, that it would be necessary to uh, to duel with lightsabers. All right, so there you go. Uh, go get a fencing helmet. They're not that much. 50 bucks or 60 bucks off of Amazon. Put a link in the description. Um, other than that, have a great day. Stay safe. Happy sabering.